Hello everyone, today we are going to talk about lower eyelid blepharoplasty. Do you want to improve the shape of your lower eyelid or do you suffer from wrinkles or fat accumulation in the lower eyelid? As we become older, our eyelids stretch and the muscles that support them weaken. As a result, extra fat may accumulate above and under your eyelids, resulting in a droopy brows, droopy upper lid and bags under your eyes. Blepharoplasty is a surgical procedure that corrects droopy eyelids by removing extra skin, muscle, and fat. During this video, we will explain to you everything related to this procedure. What are the reasons for resulting it, how the operation takes place, and the expected complication of this operation. Our role today is to answer most of our questions regarding lower eyelid blepharoplasty. Today, we have Dr. Hu, who is a leading doctor at Ruby Plastic Surgery. He is going to discuss with us everything about lower eyelid blepharoplasty from an experienced medical point of view. Hi, I'm Queenie, and before we start, please subscribe to our channel so the next time you'll be updated with our new releases. We will move on to under eye fat reposition or mm -hmm. lower eyelid blepharoplasty. Mm -hmm. So, um, can you tell us more about it? In some cases, the fat under the eyes bulges out, making the lower part look relatively hollow and make a tired impression. So improving this area is fat rearrangement surgery under the eyes. So who is the perfect candidate for this procedure? If you have a tired impression and your eyes are bulging, you can get this surgery. So can dark circles be improved as well? It depends on the cause of the dark circles. If the fat bulges out and the dark circles look darker, this surgery improves. However, if the skin pigmentation is severe, this surgery is not helpful. Uh, so can you explain the surgery process for us? The surgical method varies depending on the level of the sagging in the skin. If there is no sagging skin, surgery is performed inside the eyes. Surgery is performed through the conjunctivia and no scars are left. Some fat-rich parts are removed, and the fat is relocated to the dug part to improve the dug part under the eyes. If the sagging is large, surgery is performed with partial resection of the outer skin. Um, so how long will you recommend your foreign patients to stay in Korea for this procedure? The removal of the thread will be carried out in a week. If you have time, it is recommended to pull out the thread and departure. And if you don't have time, it is too much to take a plane on the day of the surgery or the next day. I recommend you fly in two to three days. Uh, so, what kind of service is provided when foreign patients come visit? There are many foreign patients in our hospital. It's not as many as before because of COVID-19. But many clients around the world have visited. Not only in Asia, but also Europe, the United States, and Australia. People who come to get a surgery from abroad have high expectations, but also worry a lot. They are scared to get surgery in an unfamiliar country. There are managers in charge of each language in our hospital. If customers want, they can communicate with our managers and our hospital provides hotel reservations and hospital treatment as soon as they enter Korea. Of course, we care about post-operative care, and if patients have an emergency at night or have any questions, we allow them to communicate with a hospital for 24 hours. Okay, thank you so much, Dr. Ho, for answering our questions. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> so today we learned many things about lower eyelid blepharoplasty, and the doctor explained in details everything related to this interesting topic. Thank you for joining us once again today at Cloud Spill TV. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below, and we will respond to you as soon as possible.